Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we're not going to do anything too drastic. We're just going to keep supplying the cargo hub here and make some minor adjustments to some lines. I think the first thing we're going to do is bring more construction materials from this construction materials plant here. As we can see, the shipment numbers aren't really that high, but it's definitely getting the stone it needs. So what we can do is simply just bring another uh, boat line over to the cargo hub and that'll help supplement some of the other lines we have running right now. So now in order to do this, I want to add a, another dock and get it to fit properly. I guess I'm okay with this. So we'll keep it like that and we'll sort of fix, fix the land behind it just so it makes a little bit more sense. There we go. I want to come back and make sure we have a landing marked. And then over on the cargo hub side, we will want to add another large dock. We'll add two, one on each side. Just to sort of set ourselves up for the future. We'll need to adjust some of the land over here. Flatten that out. There we go. So now we can have boats coming in. We'll come in here and buy some vehicles. We've unlocked a few more boats. And I think this one here is probably our next best one. As it's just as fast as the Klondike, which we were using before for speed. And it can carry every material. So two of these will be fine. And we'll make a new line. Coming from up there down to the cargo hub here and that says it's unable to find a path I think that might be because of this road here so we're gonna have to come through and delete this road we're gonna want to pull this back a little bit so we can raise the road a decent amount And we can raise this up. We we'll want to get it as high as possible. So we'll do that. And then hopefully we can get a decent transition here without it causing too many weird issues. We'll probably pull this back one more and then connect it up there. There we go. So now that line should work and Hopefully, there we go. We can get them sent out on that line. And we'll just want to make sure so that no weird confusion things happen. That here at the port, it's only loading construction materials. And then down at the cargo hub, it's only unloading what it has. So 
Oh, I think that's pretty good. It's all going to the right landing. And hopefully we should start to see this go up. Which will mean that these trucks will start to leave with more full loads of stone. Alright, and then the last thing I want to do this episode is connect a source of fuel to this cargo hub so we can have another resource that we can send out. So over here we have a bunch of these oil wells pretty close to this Toledo oil refinery. And then all the way up here we have the Durham fuel refinery. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring probably by train a lot of the oil to this refinery. And then I think our best option might be to fly the oil up here to this fuel refinery. Just because we already have a lot sort of going on up here. And getting a train it would be pretty hard with the mountains and the side of the city that it sits on. And by boat, it would just take too long. And then same thing with trucks, it would take too long. So I think we'll go by plane. We'll probably flatten out a lot of this mountain, which could be expensive. And then we'll bring the oil in by plane. And then I'm not too sure how we'll get it to the cargo hub, but we'll sort of figure that out when we get there. So to start off, let's get a cargo station. We'll plop that down right here and we'll do the same thing out by this oil field. Connect it up. Let's see if we can, so we can't, we can't do this in just one go. We'll have to come across this field here. So I think this will work. Come across like that. And then hopefully we can connect. We can't really connect there we end up making bridges. I'm not too concerned about making a bridge. And then we can come back up here. So we'll go back, add a second set of tracks to this whole line here just like this we'll come through add a bunch of signals we don't need that many signals it's a pretty short line place down the train depot connect that up And then we can get a train running on this line. We've unlocked a few new trains. I don't think we don't need anything crazy for this. I think this train would probably work pretty well. So we'll try that and put some tank cars behind it. We'll probably want to go with these. I think that's pretty good. We'll get two of them. And put them on a new line. New oil field to the oil refinery. So here comes our new train. It should get up to speed pretty quick. 
as it does decent on flat ground. We'll see how we do with two. We might need to add more, even though this is such a short trip. We'll just have to see what the demand is and how much it's expecting us to be sending out. All right, so now that we have oil coming in here, we can set up a cargo airfield. We don't need something too crazy because this isn't really any sort of hub or major landmark. So we can just have it as an airfield, put it there, and then we'll need to find a spot for it over here. All right, so we've found a spot for the airport here. It might not really look the nicest, but it really is probably the only spot we can get it to fit, where it'll be close enough to connect to the oil refinery here. Hopefully we can get this to connect in some way that's not there we go so if we click this airport we should see that it does connect here and then I think we might be able to do this by truck it would be a bit of a drive but I think at the beginning the throughput's not going to be that huge, so we might be able to afford using trucks, and it wouldn't be too terrible. So let's, let's uh, try that idea out. So we'll connect up to this road over here. Like that. It's a bit of a steep hill there, but we'll roll with it for now. We can get a truck station in over here. And now I think we can start to set up our airport line and we'll want to pick something that sort of has the biggest capacity it doesn't need to be fast because it's not that long of a draw of a flight and I think this one here the Bristol freighter is probably the one that has the most capacity so far for cargo at least so we can I'll say buy eight of them. I'll make a new line that comes from here. And then flies over to the fuel refinery here. We can see that makes a nice little loop for the planes to go on. And then the last thing we need to do is just connect up to the cargo hub by road. So we're gonna delete this really windy and inefficient road here. So we'll do that. And then we'll come through with a new road. That'll come the same way, but just a little bit straighter so there's not so much movement and other weird connections. Then of course we'll want to upgrade this road and this road and then we can come here and connect up to the, the road over here. So hopefully this won't get too busy. We might have to come through and make this a four lane road all the way through. Hopefully we don't have to do that because we're a little tight on space out here, but we'll see what happens there. 
So then we can come to this road depot and buy some more cargo trucks. So we'll want the fastest ones with the largest capacity, which is probably these trucks still. We've been using them for a while. I think 20 is probably pretty good for the distance it has to go. We'll go from Lower Durham over to this truck stop at the cargo hub. And we'll want to make sure we're clarifying. We only want to ship fuel and we don't want to pick anything up at the cargo hub. And then we'll make sure this gets its own terminal. And now we see all of the trucks coming out. And we also see the last of our planes leaving. So there might not be too much really happening yet, but we should start to, once we connect this up, we can sort of retrofit one of our trains or maybe even our boat that goes to Mesquite. We can add a fuel line to that or Toledo, we can add fuel and we can get rid of this fuel line that runs from this fuel refinery. Maybe since we get rid of this, we can also bring that fuel into the cargo hub. Who knows? Well, we won't get into that right now. And next episode, we will connect up the, fu uh, the cargo hub to some more cities. So that's going to be all for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.